Okay, here we go. Quarterfinals of the SNES Online Tournament Grand Prix NTSC Super Mario Kart between Duff and me. Uh, Duff already made a mistake at the start, which gives me an advantage on this track. Okay, I managed to outmaneuver the red shell. Already a critical moment. Right in lap one. Now I have a red shell. Oof. I think uh, Drew should have probably anticipated uh, my weight with the red shell a bit better. He thought he could shield it off with the green shell. I still come back with the mushroom long boost though. Not anymore. Had that long boost worked, he would have been in prime position to pounce in the final lap. But now he's just too far away. So I can just uh, cleanly finish the race. Maybe if he gets the red shell? <laughs> he didn't know. And that's only because I uh, missed the MBT on lap 4. And he still had a chance to get back in the match. So I go 1 0 up. Format, of course, is uh, as always all cups, and you only get a point for uh, winning or at least ending qualifying uh, ahead of your opponent. That's what gives you a point. So you don't need to bother about uh, getting second or third or whatever. And then in the end, there are 20 uh, tracks played. Nice! <laughs> okay, that worked out in my favor. I had a green shell, I uh, did a bit of a snooker move. I picked out Drew. I wanted to pick out Drew, but it was still a bit lucky that it worked. Yet uh, he gets a red shell, uh, a shroom. But he gets trolled by Luigi a bit, so even uh, if he pulls off a successful shroom, he might not uh, be in the lead after. Or maybe just about, we'll see now. He's probably gonna do it. He almost never fails that move. And he's indeed ahead. He even kept all speed. Oh! Wow. So Drew's definitely getting unlucky thus far. Um, there was a Yoshi egg right on his head. And there was nothing he could do to dodge that. There was no warning, nothing. And that probably cost him the match. He needs a shroom now, but he got a red shell. One more chance. No. He's not gonna get it. Okay. I go 2 0 up, and that was an, uh, almost completely a luck based win. Or I should say, a luck based loss for Drew. Yoshi making his presence clear in this match. We'll probably hear from him again. Drew is uh, purposely breaking to uh, outrank himself, and that uh, gives you uh, better zoom start odds for the next race because the window is twice as large. The zoom start window is twice as long when you're uh, f fifth to eight on the grid, on the starting grid. And uh, that decision already pays off, because he got the zoom start and I didn't. And he had a mushroom in the lead to boot, so I already have my work cut out for me if I want to uh, get back into this race. I will need a shroom right about now, or a feather, so I can do an easy shortcut. Star? Nah, I'm not gonna do it with the star. I might have to though. Star Shroom, that's a difficult decision. I need to put the pressure on them, so I need to go for it. Oof! That was almost quite crazy. Star Shroom, it's kind of doomed to fail. You're rarely under uh, both Star and Mushroom physics at the same time, so I didn't know what, what would happen after the platform jump. At least uh, I bottled it, but it was, uh, like I said, doomed to fail from the get-go. I still have to try though, of course. 2-1. If that worked, it would have been uh, pretty awesome. 
and Duff acknowledges the crazy mushroom try. <laughs> Okay, it's looking good for me. Again, we trade Zoom Starch. I get it, he doesn't. That was a bad moment to crash. Because he will now be... Uh, Hunting me with his red shell. It's gonna break. Oh, I could anticipate that one, of course. I was always going to do a wall ride there. Now I just need to stay within range to pick him up on this final straight. He's probably gonna do a wall ride too, though, I'm gonna guess. Ah, I bottled that red shell, but he got a bad bounce from the wall ride. He still had to continue his wall ride. I guess he wasn't sure that I fired my red into the wall. It was a bad red execution. And kind of bad anticipation from Drew still going for the wall ride. Feather. I'm kind of happy I got a feather there. That at least uh, elevated some stress. Because that final section uh, could have been very stressful. Also considering Drew had a shroom for the last corner, potentially. I didn't know that I uh, bottled the red shell, but if he was already on the wall, right? It's, uh, it's sometimes it's hard to get off. You got a bad bounce, apparently. Okay, the final of the mushroom cup coming up. We're both not getting these zooms in, <laughs> at least not consistently, it's hard online, the timing change. <laughs> See if I can uh, get a banana on him. Nah, that was too, uh, he was too far away, he's not gonna fall for it. He gets a shroom, thankfully not a red shell. I guess I could block the long boost spot. Actually, yeah. Uh, Ooh, he decided not to go for a long boost. Maybe that was the right move to make. Almost ran into my banana, but not quite. He's gonna let me pick second place item, and I didn't do anything with it. I missed them. Kind of bad. Still within range. Gotta need a good item now. Red Shell is a good item. What's his battle plan here? I don't think he has one. No. So 4 1 up, and I have to say, uh, getting that Red Shell in Final Lap was a bit lucky in some respects. Uh, it forced him to slow down. I don't think he should have, though. And he acknowledges that as well. He, uh, he reacted on the red too much, but it was final lap, so he probably would have been better off just gambling on the dodge and staying ahead. But it was a hard scenario for him. 4 1. I, uh, I'm kind of surprised that uh, I'm not driving that badly. In the warm-up, I uh, really showed atrocious form. I was pulling all my moves way too late because I'm used to SNES now with all the all cup runs I did in recent days. But it seems I adjusted to online uh, quickly enough for now. Let's see how it plays out. Oh, this is a rare sight. We both missed the zoom start on the first race of a cup. That should never happen. Did he payro my banana there? With the banana throw? Looked like it. That would have been pretty sick if so. He's gonna try and uh, snipe me with the green. 
Drew is a very good item player. Oh, I did my best to uh, put some zigzags to my trajectory, but oh, Koopa, Koopa destroyed my uh, longbow setup. I had the right angle going, and then he pushed into me, and I had to adjust again. And Princess dropped my MBT. Hello, this is not gonna happen anymore. Nah, this is just completely wrecked. A completely wrecked CI1. Clear win from Drew. 4 2. I'm gonna go for that fifth place for uh, an almost free zoom start on Ghost Valley 2. And Ghost Valley 2 is one of the tracks where you really, really want the zoom start. Of course, you always want it in Grand Prix. And even in match race. But in Grand Prix, it's, I would say it's more important to get the zoom start. And on some tracks, it's more important than others. Ghost Valley 2, I would say, it's one of the top three tracks where the zoom start determines the outcome. And we both get it. Oh wow. I didn't react quickly enough to his crash. I didn't expect him to crash. I was not expecting him it at all. And he actually uh, got some benefit out of it. This way. And... The feather kinda resulted in a bad angle for the next corner. And I crashed. That could already be it. So, what I need now is either a Drew Crash or a Feather. That's pretty much the only things that can still happen and prevent him from winning. And the Feather is already gone. Yeah. 4 3. He's back in the match. Okay, I got it. On this track though, um, comebacks are uh, usually plenty. With the mushroom wall card and everything. Thus far he has not received uh, his shroom yet, but I have little doubt that it will come. There it is. <laughs> oh, I didn't like his angle there. However, uh, it did work, but it was a bit awkward and he lost some speed too. What I need is either a mushroom of course or a red shell. He's gonna let me uh, pass, actually, and that backfired, and then some. I'm not sure if I like that strategy too much. At least it didn't pay off this time. I got a shroom in the lead, he got coins. I decided not to go for the leak bounce over the wall. It's a, it's a move that usually works, but it can still go wrong, and I didn't need to do it. Didn't have the confidence anyway for online. It can uh, a, l a small leg spike can already throw you off. I decided to play it safe. Five three. Still a good match this. What's gonna happen? I think he's in trouble. Yeah. So, uh, he tried to move outside of my uh, field of vision, but him breaking uh, 
we got caught up together and then he had a bad bounce and he was right in the he was dead in the water all I had to do was press A and then I shall uh, kick his ass he's still in this though because I uh, overshot and ended in the lava Star will bring him uh, a ways it's not the best item on the Bowser Castle tracks and he Moreover, he missed his uh, item pickup. Nice star driving, though. Oh, I did it again! Drew actually uh, did break for that jump. He also had too much speed. He learned from my mistakes. <laughs> or at least... He didn't replicate them. Oof! Damn, I have to escape a star again? Okay, I'm gonna... Just hold back for a bit, because he's lethal with that star. This might be raised over though. Okay. I was praying for a feather actually uh, with that item pickup. This is my last chance, my only chance to still win this is pulling off the finish line feather. I've done it a lot of times in the past in online matches. And it worked again. My success rate for this, uh, for some reason, online is higher even than offline. I don't know why. Going 6-3 up. <laughs> and he hit my banana. That is always a horrible place to put the banana. You have to take that corner in the CPU crowd if you miss the zoom star. Didn't see it, and he got caught. So, this will probably be... Uh, well, this is a very nice opportunity to uh, create a 7-3 lead. It's, uh, quite a margin already, halfway through. I don't think he's gonna come back from this, at least not on this track. He's still in third, actually. I almost hit the hairpin. That would have reduced my chances of winning a bit. Done. It's a bit choppy it seems, I'm not sure if it is also choppy on stream, but... Star Cup. Kuba Beach 1 is uh, a race I uh, I hate. In time trial, in Grand Prix, in other games, I just don't like it. I'm not born for water slides. Almost round again. <laughs> At least I didn't get caught out by that uh, green shell. I have to note also that uh, I'm fairly sure it's one of Drew's worst tracks as well, driving wise. And it's showing because he's already uh, lagging quite a bit. I 
think he already needs to opt for the backwards red shell. And he's going to. I can tell he's already breaking. So what he's going to try is backwards red shell and hope I drown and then pick up a green item. <laughs> the green item that he picked up was a banana, so that uh, was it. It was a nice battle plan, it was the only thing he could still do. The game didn't let him know. 8-3. Only 3 wins away from uh, sealing the deal. With uh, 9 tracks to go. Comfortably in the driving seat. Yeah, there's no dodging that. <laughs> Forget about it. I can still come back from this though, with the star. Oh, the star didn't last as long as I hoped. Somewhere between dodging the green and the banana, I thought I would lose my MBT, but I didn't. I'm still in this, sort of. Uh, not quite it. No, coins versus mushroom, that's uh, not going to cut it. He didn't get the long boost though, but I think that still seals the deal. What do I get? Nah. Well, to be fair, a similar scenario occurred. When I picked up a mushroom in first and he picked up coins. So that's fair and square. 2 by the way. I gotta be very careful with zero coins. One hit on the CPU and I'm dead. Okay, I got one coin. And Drew is not far away yet, so I'll try and make this red shell work. Just to get a little closer. Oh, he got himself caught in the ice. Okay, if he's this close, next lap I'll break. I need to profit from this red shell. Yeah, I had to because his next item pickup might have very well been a red shell or a shroom, which means I could not profit from my red shell anymore. Um, I actually use uh, text editor in, uh, in OBS. The streaming program which I use. It allows you to. Uh, sorry. It allows you to enter text, and I'm just entering text as I stream. It's possible. And hello, by the way. <laughs> so I'm uh, quite close to match point now. Only one more win. And then at least I will have a tie. Likely a win with uh, seven races left. Gotta keep a cool head, not do any stupid moves. And with that being said, okay, <laughs> some interchanges of uh, warfare. <laughs> His red shell hit me and uh, my item hit him. It's a fair trade. If I can maintain this lead, I'm good. 
Gonna have to take quite a special comeback. Likely a feather. Now he's approaching now. He's oh, that might cost me. Especially considering he has a shroom. Okay, this will be an interesting final lap. I didn't get a right angle. The tomb again. The tombs are not helping me. Red shell. Nice dodge. What's gonna happen now? Oh. What a great last corner from Drew. What a steal. That might prove a very crucial win. That at least it means he will uh, remain in this match. For now. A very ballsy last corner. It's what he had to do uh, in that situation of course. And he also gambled on the Tom being up. It was up. We got a bit lucky, but it was uh, well played. 9-5. Maybe in this situation I should have also taken a bit more risk with the last corner. Considering I'm... Uh, nine, I was 9-4 up, I can afford to take risks. But I'm fairly confident uh, the extra wins will come. With six tracks left to go. One of these laps I'll probably get a red shell or a mushroom to uh, make up for the difference. Well, not if I don't pick up items, of course. Ah, I made an error. Still sort of close. Still in there. Well, I barely avoided a crash, but he's definitely pulling away now. And again no item, so the red shell is not gonna happen. Ah, oh, wow, look at Mario. Mario ruined my hopes of still winning this track. An asshole move. I think Drew almost hit himself with that green. But now uh, it ended my... Uh, very small chance of a comeback, which to be honest was not gonna happen anymore anyway. 9-6. Suddenly Drew has some momentum back again. And I know for a fact from previous experiences that Special Cup uh, is not my forte in online multiplayer. To say the least. AKA the siege on the bridge. He, thankfully, he got coins. That means he, uh, at least he couldn't troll me on the bridge. I put a green there, but it's probably gonna avoid it. Drew is good at these kind of uh, item plays. Banana there. Ah, my own green actually distracted me enough. It's kind of sloppy. I still have a mushroom now though, so in theory, if I pull it off, I will land either ahead of Drew or very close to him. Oh, but I bottled it. I cannot believe how low my success rate for that shortcut is. It's quite strange. 
This one uh, I almost never get, even though it is actually kind of free. You only have to press A, and that's it. If you do, if you do it with the right spacing, you make it. And then on the other hand, the most difficult shortcut, or one of the most difficult shortcuts, the feather on Bowser's Castle 2 to the finish line, that I get consistently online. It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Suddenly, it's really a match again, 9-7. It is the easiest one, Drew confirms it. It really is extremely easy, I cannot believe uh, I keep failing it in online matches. Okay, my uh, decision to uh, finish fifth paid off as I got the zoom start and he didn't. So hopefully I can secure that uh, tenth win or at least tie. And a tie is not gonna happen, of course. Then uh, I mean. Uh, it will go into overtime. Overtime, I'm fairly sure, is uh, playing Mushroom Cup. And then you always end up with a winner because there's five tracks. Okay, Drew's comeback was cut short. He had a long boost that picked up a star. That star would have carried him uh, either very close to me or uh, even uh, equal. So. Uh, I'm kinda happy that uh, the star insta drowned him. Okay, we got our 10th win. Okay, I got the zoom, so that's good. He gets the feather. And he makes it, nice. I'll play my cards conservatively. I'm counting on him to crack under the pressure. He might not, but we'll see. You can always get a comeback item later. It's important that at least I don't crash, so I can profit from his mistakes. Oh, Mario, really? Really did the... Crying out loud. Now he's at a, such a distance that I already need a small miracle. Wow. Mm. That, I'm not sure if that was really a, sh a joke. I mean, I was behind from the get-go with that feather. Ten eight. I just failed to do a comeback on this one. Also, thanks to Mario. Well, there's still VL2 on Rainbow Road. I don't like him having that green there. Okay, we're, f we're fine. Oof, so close. Oh, they left that... I fucking hate it when the CPU leaves that block intact. That ice cube. They're not consistent with it, usually they take them all out. Okay, I need some good items right about now. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose this one as well. Drew is driving well, I've gotta say. Very well. Yeah, it's over. 
damn it! Okay, that might have been sort of a joke. I'm not sure. It's a hard track to do online though. And Drew that well. It's more a case of Drew doing well than me choking, I think. 10-9! Oh dear. Rainbow Road? Okay. Zoom shot missed. Feather picked up. Well, this means I have the winning car, especially now that Drew crashed. Okay, I cannot give this a one away anymore. Really. I shouldn't at least. Oh, that banana is in such an ugly spot, though. That really complicates the last corner, which is already hard enough with a set of, with two sets of thwomps on each side of the corner. That banana is pure evil. We both have the same approach in dodging it. Drew is gaining some ground. He has a mushroom now. Princess. Oh. I gotta stay on the track. It's getting harder though. I'm gonna not go for the feather. Because I'm getting hit there. No way! No way! I didn't even consider that move a possibility. I kind of forgot it was even possible with a mushroom. Wow. So Drew just pulled it back to 10 10 with an insane mushroom to the finish line. I'm. Flabbergasted by that actually. What a move. I don't think I've ever done that even. <laughs> That's an NTSC only move. Wow, that really caught me off guard. I should have gone for the feather maybe. I didn't think I had to though because he only had a shroom. So the overtime uh, has become a reality. Uh, I think it is Mushroom Cup that we have to play. Well, that went alright in uh, the first leg. 4-1 <laughs> in my favor. Credits to Drew for pulling off that uh, crazy mushroom though. Holy cow. I had forgotten all about that possibility. <laughs> Something that will never happen on Paul. <laughs> well, I guess uh, he lives to fight another day. Oh wow, a little present from Drew. He misses the zoom start on the first track again. Unforgivable mistake. He probably won't come back from this on MC1. Wow, nice banana throw though, gotta say. That banana throw was a lot harder to do than the zoom start. <laughs> Again a sideways long boost for Drew. That cuts back his, uh, his comeback. Theoretically he can still come back with a good great mushroom LB and a red shell, but nah. This is over. Okay, haha. <laughs> yes, he's gonna go for this. He needs to zoom start on DP1. I think I'll do that too now, yeah. He cannot afford to miss zoom starts now at this uh, point in the match.
Well, it paid off. It definitely paid off. It paid off even more than I bargained for because I uh, did some stupid driving errors. Right after the Myth Tomb starts. I gotta do some M extra MBTs to uh, get back in this. It's still. Oh! This complicates the mission for sure. You got a mushroom in the lead. I got a green. But Yoshi sniped him again. That happened on DP1 as well last time. I think it was DP1 at least. Nevertheless, he made that mushroom wall cut work again. Kudos. Uh, so I'll need it too. I got it. I got it. Okay. Ah, uh, well, it's always hard to do it without a setup. You don't. You have a setup for uh, when you arrive with a shroom. But when you have to improvise in final lap and wait for the shroom to uh, happen. It's a lot harder, of course. I'm gonna go for 5th place. Get that Ghost Valley 1 zoom start. Okay, so Yoshi sniped uh, Drew, but... Uh, he still had that mushroom he picked up in the lead. A bit lucky, but... Uh, I also had some uh, some of that in the match before, at this point. Gotta be super careful with this banana there. Oh, he's gonna try and push me. Well, it worked to the extent that I missed the items. Might have been a red shell in there for me, so uh, well played. Another chance. Oh, that's fair. Another shroom in the lead. Banana for me. Is the game gonna fuck me over like this an extra time? I suppose so. Oh, give me something. Ah, uh, it's over. Mario made life hard for me. I couldn't cope. And another mushroom in the lead. Well, what do you know? Well, this one was overkill though. He had already won it. So Drew actually effectively on match point now. Because if he wins three races this Mushroom Cup, he has won the match. So I absolutely need that... Uh, Zoom start on Bowser Castle 1. Well, this race I probably couldn't have won considering he had uh, two, m two shrooms in the lead. That's uh, kind of hard to fight against. Drew is indeed on double match point. He needs to win BC1 or MC2 and it's over. <laughs> and wow, his item lock has certainly changed. Uh, I try to block it with the... Oh, wow. <laughs> that could not have gone any worse. Of course, I tried to hit him with the green to prevent him from uh, using the feather long boost shortcut. But then he collided with me. I ended up uh, hitting my own green. Okay, some good news for me though is that... Fuck off, Koopa, seriously. Leave me alone. Come on. And Luigi also getting in the way. But the, the only good news is that Drew is uh, currently struggling set to set up the long boost. He's choking on Mouse. Something I can identify with. So my role should be just to put him under as much pressure as I can. Just so that he will uh, screw up the long, uh, the long boost feather. He's gonna go for it now though. Oh, he <laughs> Would you believe he made that? Even when he hit a Tromp. For God's sake. That was the ugliest long boost feather I've ever seen on this track. I can still do it though. 
Oh, oh! Wow. Okay, I officially lost the match. Epic final race. He did really well on the last set of corners, probably. He must have done that. Crying out loud. I thought he would lose that too. But I, I guess not. Yeah, Mo was right. It's kind of bad. I had a 7-3 lead. I gotta give it to Drew though. He played well in uh, the end of Star Cup and the Special Cup. I didn't really feel like I was choking. He was just winning matches and I wasn't. And the game was helping him, him a little bit with good items in the lead. Anyway, we're gonna still play MC2 just uh, for shits and giggles to finish the cup. Get a real score in. That Rainbow Road Shroom though. Wow. That was pretty crazy. That turned the match around. That and the Bowser Castle 3 finish. I never realized how costly that finish uh, was. Uh, looks like at least I'll win this. Not that it matters. Well, not if Mario can help it, that is. Take that for trolling me again. He also did me in on uh, Tone of Plains 3, was it? I don't, I don't even remember. Wow, wow! No way! Oh, just to emphasize the fact that uh, I was kinda unlucky in Mushroom Cup, Yoshi just threw an egg right in front of the jump when I was going to win the race. And the, the dodge that uh, happened after actually made me fail the jump. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> a cruel joke from Yossi just to uh, underline how bad this mushroom cup went for me. Uh, why I didn't go for the feather, that was like a decision I made on the spot because um, there were two CPUs on the little stretch of road that you that leads up to the feather shortcut and I thought uh, I shouldn't go for it that that way if it's too crowded they can uh, just the slightest touch they can ruin your uh, your move and I was in the lead so I didn't really need to go for it but I guess I did <laughs> well lesson learned so, um, okay, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go to bed now, I guess. Um, the next time I'll stream will be uh, all cups, obviously, because now I can focus on that again with uh, SNES Online tournaments stopping for me for like until October or something, until post CDM, uh, which is kind of a relief because uh, I actually had enough of uh, online SMK for a while feels a little bit too luck oriented. <laughs> hey Dan man, we were just talking about you actually in uh, Guillaume's chat. The fact that you're uh, attending CDM. We're really uh, Clark, uh, Scoop, Guillaume uh, and me were there. And uh, Carty. We're look really looking forward to meeting you man. It's gonna be a blast. Going uh, going to meet the Hernemans. Is that pronounced right? Anyway, gonna get some sleep. See you later.